Installing Schaller S-Locks onto a Taylor acoustic guitar with the ESB pickup system is a bit more involved due to the atypical combo jack strap that they have. In order to do this, you'll need your S-Locks, a Music Nomad Acoustalock 3-pin adapter, a set of Allen keys, a Phillips head screwdriver, and obviously your strap. In addition to this, you'll need to either purchase the old model of the Schaller locking buttons or the fender locking buttons as the S-lock buttons have a pre-attached screw which is a lot longer than the Taylor screw that is on the neck button and by using this longer screw you risk splitting the wood of the guitar. So unless you want to risk damaging your guitar, you need to pick up these additional parts as well and use them instead of the included Schaller S-Lock strap buttons. The first thing you need to do is attach the Music Nomad Acoustalock 3-pin strap adapter. And to do this, you'll need a small Phillips head in order to remove the three screws that hold in place the input jack button hybrid that is on the bottom of the guitar. Once you have it unscrewed, before pulling it out, you need to make sure to unplug the 3.5 millimeter jack that attaches the input jack to the ESB pickup system. So to do this, you'll need to loosen the strings of your guitar, reach in through the sound hole, which can be kind of tough if you got some big meaty claws like me, and unplug that jack. Additionally, there's a series of these clips that are attached to the sidewall of the guitar and here's one that happened to fall out while I was doing this process and is a good example. There were about three or four of these and you just have to feel along the side until you find one and then to release the clip all you do is bend down this piece of metal so it's no longer holding the wire. Once you do that for all of them in there you should be able to freely pull out the wire and continue on. Once you've pulled out the entirety of the three millimeter wire, you can thread it through the Acoustalock adapter and you wanna make sure that the felt washer on the Acoustalock adapter is going to be up against the surface of the guitar. Slide it all the way down to the combo input jack button and then you are going to reinsert the wire through the hole and reinsert it into the ESB pickup system. Finally, to finish attaching the Acoustalock adapter, put the screws back through the holes in the three pin and then the corresponding holes of the adapter and line it up. You want the adapter to kind of sit at like a 30 degree angle facing towards the back of the guitar. You don't want it to be straight in line. You kind of want a bit of a tilt and then you can screw it back in. Moving on to the neck button, as mentioned earlier, you need to make sure that you're using the old style Schaller button or the Fender one, which has a separate screw instead of the attached screw of the S-lock buttons because the Taylor neck button screw is significantly shorter, as you can see here, and you risk damaging your guitar if you use one of these longer screws. Once you have unscrewed the original Taylor neck button, make sure that you reuse that shorter screw with the Fender or original style Schaller locking button that you purchased. Don't use the pre-included hardware, which also is a longer screw. To attach the strap locks to the strap, first insert the pin through the back end of the strap, making sure that the open portion faces up towards the strap material. Then you want to take the washer and make sure that it has the rounded side up and that you're putting the flat portion of it against the leather of the strap and hand tighten as much as you can. If you really want to cinch it down, there is a little set screw that you can use to further tighten it as well as a little through hole where you can stick a tiny little Allen key to get more leverage and really tighten it down. Finally, to attach the strap locks to the guitar, all you do is you just slide that open portion onto the strap button until you hear a little click and it should lock on. Then if you wanna release it, just pull up on the tab and slide in the reverse direction and it will come right off. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning on in. We'll catch you next time. Adios, amigos.